So if we slide and I, I see all this gap right here, now I can either explode and take that. I'm thinking I got a blow by. First pro tip off the float dribble. Once you can see past your defender's shoulder, go. All right, see ya, it's time to drive. But niggas slide their feet, he good at sliding his feet. Now I know I got him where I want him. Cause he's trying to race me to that. So if he beat me there, cool. I just play right off. Second pro tip is a game of speed change. If the defender drop his shoulder, open up, right? He's sliding his feet. Now he's playing catch up to like stay in front of me. Cause he's moving, he has to move as fast as I move, right? So now when they're playing catch up, it's the perfect time to do a step back, do something like a little snatchy snatch, just because they're playing catch up. Just slow this one down, slow this one down. He's telling him to slow it down because when you have a series of movements, right, you want to be able to make a read. If you're just going fast, 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 you can't really make a read unless you're just really good at reading the defender. But also you have to give the defender time to react. Attack the closeout. Now, this is common sense, but most people don't understand it when it comes to a series of moves, right? So, yeah, they're sliding their feet. Let's say you did a step back out of them trying to play catch up, right? Now you hit that step back and they close out. They have to close out. If you don't close out fast enough off this step back, if it's quick enough, I'm shooting it. But also, if you do close out because I know you have to, right? Then I'm going to blow by. When he's when he on that one, he's still going away from me. Take that spot up. So here. He can't, yeah, he can't even. Like if he contests that, he gotta run into you. You know what I mean? Because you just taking that little here and you right up at it. He's already gonna be on your side. If you round it off now. Fourth pro tip that I love, love, love. I don't care what level of basketball you're playing, you, know I mean? you need to make the cutoff. Cut off your defender. Stop allowing them to get back into the play. He's saying, basically, after you attack again, don't give them any room to get back in the play. All right? So you're going to attack at an angle and keep them close to your body where you're almost trying to cut them off. Even though you're trying to get to your spot, get to that spot without creating too much space in between you and the defense. So just to reiterate, it's not about doing moves. It's about establishing movements to make a read. You gotta know who's guarding you. That's why I like it's really not about the move, it's really about the defense and having great movement. Yeah. Right? So it's really, I'm not giving you a move. I'm giving you movement, but I'm giving you the read through the defense, right? So he realized he's being aggressive, he's uptight. He's not standing up. He knows once he punch like this, I got so just for example, if I did a pump fake, but it doesn't look like I'm going to shoot. Does that, I mean, like, yeah, it's a move, but it wasn't, a, it's not good movement. All right. So when you guys practice footwork and things like that, we're trying to get good movement to make reads, to get the defender to bite. Don't just step back to step back, step back um, as if you were going to shoot the ball. Right? So now I'm establishing a read. Every movement has a place to make a read. All right? I hope you guys like this video. If you like it, go ahead and press the like button. Go ahead and subscribe, and I'll be back with more. Peace.